So guys, we continue with chapter four. Something that is not explained in the book or in the PowerPoints uh, very clearly, but you do need to know this for the test and for um, analyzing the graph. So I'm going to show you on the graph what is increase and decrease in quantity demanded. How do we, de how do we represent this on the graph? Remember, if I have demand for a certain product, so this is demand for a certain product. I'm going to emphasize price on the vertical line, quantities on the horizontal line. Demand is a downward sloping line. Let's suppose I'm going to show you increase in quantity demanded. Remember, quantity demanded and demand, two different things. I'm going to show you on the graph how do we represent increase in quantity demanded. If I'm going to take a certain point, on the graph, that's going to be my quantity demanded. This certain point correspond to a certain price, price one, and to a certain quantity, quantity one. Remember, if I want to increase my quantity, my quantity is going to be higher. What is going to change my quantity in general? The price of the product. If the price of the product is changing, then quantity demanded is going to change. So, what is going to happen here? The price of the product is going to change. Well, let's suppose price is decreasing from price one to price two level. At this price two level, I'm going to meet with my demand curve. And from this demand curve, I'm going to indicate that at new price, I have new quantity demanded right now. What I did, I moved along the line and the quantity demanded has increased over here. Remember, again, the law of demand precisely works here. When the price of the product is decreasing, remember, you as a buyer, what are you going to do? You're going to buy more units of a certain product. You see, we showed increase in quantity demanded and we show this increase by moving down and to the right along our demand curve. So therefore, increase in quantity demanded represented by movement, movement down and right along the demand curve. Now, if I want to show you decrease in quantity demanded, you probably already understand what is going to happen. If I'm at point A, remember, decrease in quantity demanded. Why the quantity demanded is going to decrease? Because the price of the product is going to change. So if the price of the product changing from point one initially to point two, or to point three, I'm sorry, that's going to be our price three. So at this price three, I'm going to go and meet with my demand curve. And when I met with my demand curve, I'm going to indicate my new quantity. This is my new quantity demanded. So what happened with this quantity if you compare with the initial one? Quantity demanded has actually decreased. Remember, again, the law of demand precisely works here. Remember, law of demand says if price of the product is increasing, then quantity demanded, remember, not demand, but quantity demanded, is going to decrease. Exactly what happened on our graph. We increased the price of the product. We increased the price. We met with our demand curve. From demand, we see what is our new quantity, and quantity demanded actually decrease over here. So just, again, Notice what happened on the graph. Decrease in quantity demanded was represented by moving up and to the left along the demand curve. So that one initially was decrease, decrease. And this movement is going to be, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my fault, absolutely my fault. That was increasing the demand curve. I'm thinking about one thing. So this is going to be increase. Um, in quantity demanded and that one movement was decrease in quantity demanded so therefore decrease in quantity demanded this is movement movement up and left along the demand curve so I hope you understand that now moving to the next one we need to show you what is the difference or how do we represent increase and decrease in demand curve. So let's suppose, again, I'm going to have 
a demand for a certain product. Remember, demand is a downward sloping line. So guys, if I want to increase my demand curve, do you remember in the previous video I mentioned really quick that if we change in the demand curve, what are the points, like there were points for changing the demand curve. It says that even though price of the product is staying the same, quantity demanded is actually changing. So increasing demand curve is going to be represented by shifting demand curve up and to the right. So this is going to be demand one. How is it so why this is exactly increase in demand curves? Just think about it. So let's suppose initially, initially we were at this initial demand curve and I'm going just to pick any point on my graph. Let's suppose or any price on my graph. So let's suppose this is price one. At price one, I'm going to go and meet with my initial demand curve. I met with the initial demand curve. I have a certain quantity that corresponds to this price. So this is going to be quantity one. Now, something happened on the market. Remember, changing demand represent by changing in five of our determinants that we're going to learn next. So let's, let's suppose one of the determinant changes, some kind of economic event happened on the market and our demand curve shifted, shifted up and to the right. So now, at the same price level, at the same price level, remember, this, this initial demand curve is not relevant anymore because economic event happened and now we have demand one on the market. At the same price level, price one, I'm going to go and meet with my new demand curve. I met with my new demand curve and I'm going to extend everything over here. This is Q1. What happened with my quantity demanded? I'm going to put one apostrophe. Quantity demanded has actually increased and it's going to happen at every single level of our price. So just, just think about, it. let's suppose I had some kind of price too. If we had all demand on the market at price two, I'm meeting with this demand curve. I met with the demand curve. Price two correspond to quantity two on my graph. When economic event happened and our demand curve shifted at the same price level, price two, I am meeting with my new demand curve. I met with new demand curve. I'm going to indicate my new quantity demanded. What happened with the new quantity demanded at price two level? It's actually increased as well. And once again, it will happen at every single point of our price. So therefore, if at every single point of our price, quantity demanded has increased, it means we shifted our demand curve or our demand curve has shifted and at every single point in our price, quantity demanded had increased. Let me take one more, one more price point. Let's suppose we were initially, initially, I'm going to take this green marker right now. Price point was three. So I'm going to meet with my initial demand curve. I met with the demand curve. This is quantity three. And then economic event happened. Remember, our demand has shifted up and to the right at the same price level, price three. I'm meeting with my new demand curve and at my new demand curve, I have new, when I met with the new demand curve, I have new quantity demanded, quantity three. What happened with the quantity three if to compare with the initial one when we met with our old demand curve, it's increased as well. So therefore, this represents increase in demand curve. And then the last thing, you probably already understand what is going to happen with the decreasing demand curve. Let's suppose I had demand curve. It was initial demand curve. And then something happened on the market and demand curve has shifted down and to the left. Demand one. This one is going to represent decreasing demand curve. Remember price and quantity. You all the time have to indicate price and quantity. Please never forget to do that. Again, why this is exactly represent decrease in demand curve really quick. If I'm going to take initial demand curve, let's suppose pick a price point at this price point. I'm meeting with the initial demand curve. I met with the initial demand curve. That's going to be my quantity one. Then economic event happened. Now we have new demand curve on the market. We have new demand curve on the market. At the same price level, price one, I'm going to go and meet with my new demand curve. I met with my new demand curve and I'm going to say 
this is my new quantity demanded quantity one apostrophe what happened with this quantity demanded if to compare with the initial one it's actually decrease at this price level and that will happen at every single point of our price let's suppose that was price two initial price at the at the um, initial demand curve at price two level quantity demanded was quantity two when economic event happened and our demand curve has shifted down and to the right at the same price level price two i'm meeting with the new demand curve i met with the new demand curve i'm going to indicate this is quantity two apostrophe we're going to compare this to quantity quantity two and quantity two apostrophe what happened with quantity two apostrophe it actually decreased and this will happen at every single point of our price so therefore decreasing demand is represented by shifting demand curve down and to the left